started. Andy with Insight. This is going to cover SkyDrive Pro and Joint 2013 and Office 365. When a user logs into their Office 365 account, they, they land on this page, and then from here they have some choices and links that they can go to. And if we click on SkyDrive Pro, this area here is their individual storage area inside of SharePoint. It's called SkyDrive Pro, but this is their end user area that they can store documents in. And they can also store, you know, they can store these documents and they can sync these documents up to directory on their desktop. So they can have their documents in two different places, online and on their desktop. So once they get their documents here, they can click on an ellipse here and they can up their document and basically preview the document in this browser. So they can decide, is this the document that I want to to take some action on, and I can edit the document or share it or follow it. I can click here, and there's many things that I can do with this document. So that's one aspect of it. And if I click on the document itself, it will bring it up in uh, Word web app. So this is I'm at the document inside of a browser. I'm not looking at it in Word right now. So I can I can view the document in a browser. I can go over here on the edit document, and I can edit this document in the browser with Word Web App if I would, if I want to, or if I have Word installed on my machine, I could in, I could open it up in Word directly. So there's a couple different ways to do that. It makes it real easy if uh, if you're out of town, you're on a PC that doesn't have Word loaded, you can still edit that document inside of a browser. Uh, let's go back to SkyDrive Pro here. So now we're sitting again at SkyDrive Pro. So that's just a quick introduction to SkyDrive Pro, what it is. There's seven gigabytes of storage uh, inside of here. So available for the end user. If we click sites, this is where the end user can go to their team site, uh, SharePoint team site if they want to, and click on this team site link if, if they like, or they can come down here and they can directly with this URL to the team site. It's up to them however they want to get to it. If we click team site, this bring up the Contoso internet team site. And from here, this is a web-based um, front end that's the back end of it is SharePoint. So we have different um, there are apps uh, that you can put in here. So these are just basically communication apps, news feeds that you can set up from departments. Um, so you can set all of this up, uh, and I'll show you some of the apps that are available. There's there's a ton of them. Uh, so this is just their, their main uh, landing page. You could have information about the executive team and pictures and all of those types of things, any types of communications that, that you need inside your company. Uh, you can put here, uh, the, here the, we have the news feeds. So this could be news feeds that they could, they could come in here and find the news feeds or they could look at their news feeds up at the top, up, right up here, so on this, this link up here. So these are news feeds from the company out to the employees. They could be for different departments, however you want to set that up. If we click the sales department here, we see that they have a, um, a Visio document down here. And with Visio document, uh, basically the, uh, the, org the organization, and you can you can kind of enlarge this and see however, however you like the view here of that Visio document. So that's available, and that's an app that you can you can utilize. Uh, they have their collateral here, so this is this is basically a library that has documents in it. And these documents, basically, you can set permissions on these documents. You could put it up wide open to where everybody could input documents and everybody can edit the documents. Or lock it down. You could, you could see one or two people can add these documents here, and um, you know everybody else they can only look at the documents. How do you want to set that up? 
Also, versioning is available. So if I want to keep 10 versions of every document on this library, I can do that. So real important uh, that you understand how the document libraries work. Uh, very powerful there. If we click this uh, link over here, we, this is where you could add different apps to your environment. So if we click on this app here, we can see that here's a document library app. This is what we were just looking at, that, that uh, library. We can add a custom list, uh, which is a different type of an app. And think of this as like an Excel spreadsheet with columns and rows in it. So that's available as well. You can set up some tasks and workflows, <clears throat> mail boxes. Here's some more uh, form libraries and picture libraries, calendars, different contacts that you would need in your company, links. Here, discussion board. Uh, just uh, issue tracking uh, if you you know if you need that as well. So you can see there's 16 uh, pages of this. So there's lots and lots of different apps that you can load in here and utilize however you need inside of SharePoint. So that's available as well. Get over to the human resources. Now you could see where uh, um, these documents would be need to be locked down more. So only the HR people. Could, could date these documents and put them out, uh, such as forms and policies for the employees inside of the environment. Uh, so that's, you know, that's, uh, that would be more of a lockdown library, if you will. Okay, IT, you know, these are just different departments, and they just utilize everything a little bit differently. Some announcements, and you could have a help desk where you can have issue tracking and things like that inside the IT department or whatever department you, you need. The operations here is uh, you could have accounting and your legal department. The discovery center is where you could have e-discovery on, on different uh, documents within SharePoint or, or emails within the Exchange server. So there's a whole discovery uh, as well. Uh, there are different account teams. So the Americas count teams, these different accounts that uh, that the company holds with different customers, and uh, so this one different this one unique account here, they have documents that are related to to this account, and you can see that they they had do different they can do different things here with this account. So it's, um, the sky is really the limit on SharePoint and how you can set it up and what, what you can do with it, but. This is a really quick introduction of SharePoint uh, and how you get to it uh, for a couple of different ways within the um, 365 pool, or you can go right to a URL and get to it. So uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to contact your Insight representative, and uh, thank you for watching the video.